Live from a bubble, it's Saturday night. I hope you're ready to play HQ Words because we are about to get started. Over 119,000 people are in the game already. So make sure you tell everyone at this party that you have a tray of pigs in a blanket. Ooh, that'll get their attention. You're gonna spin a wheel and then it's gonna land on a letter. That's your free letter for the entire game. I am gonna show you 10 puzzles. Use the keyboard to guess the blank letters in any order. You begin the game with 10 strikes. If you guess a wrong letter, that's a strike. If you use up all 10, you are eliminated, but it's pretty cool that strikes can be used at any time. You better go make those pigs in a blanket, you know, so you don't disappoint your friends at the party, or else you may exchange words with them, which isn't so bad, that'll help you. I gotta go get my own mini hot dog. That sounds delightful. Everybody and anybody who is ready to rock this Saturday night, welcome to my favorite part of the day, HQ Words. I am your host, pajama lover by day, word queen by night. My name is Anna Roisman. You can find me here all over social media. Did you see that the real queen of England posted her first Instagram? You know what they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. But what are words worth? Well, tonight, they're worth $1,000. That'll buy you a royal hat. How about we take care of the biz before and you spin the wheel around my face for your letter. Ooh, roses are red, violets are blue. Did you get a vowel? Was this wheel kind to you? Just like my dress. The poem's just like my dress. Whatever letter the wheel landed on is yours for the game. It is time for the first puzzle. The faster you solve, the more money you can win. Let's spell like no one's watching. Here we go. Your first hint is sea creature. Type in the letters M, E, and N. No, oh, I'm not spelling men. This is a sea creature also known as a cow of the sea. So it's a mammal. It's very large. Maybe you've seen one before. That's pretty cool. Got some letters flipped in there for you and I gave you the rest. The answer is manatee. Manatee is the answer to a T. Did you get it right? 136,764 got it right. 7,208 eliminated. You must not have heard me. I gave you all those letters. Manatee. We're moving on. Hey, guess what, word nerds? We are bringing back a favorite theme on Monday night at 9.30 p.m. It's movie night, only we're doing movie musicals, which are my world. I can't wait, so I hope you'll join me. Also, I wanna wish a happy birthday to Jennifer and a happy birthday to Tanner. Two birthdays on HQ Words. I have a really good feeling that one day, We'll take a vacation together, okay? Somewhere tropical and go snorkeling. All we need is some saved up money. This is another way of saying that. It's money to use in the future. Maybe you put it away in a fund. I don't know, it's very important to save up. A lesson I should listen to more. If you've saved up your money, you probably have a nest egg. Do you have a nest egg so you can go out and buy a house, buy a yacht? I don't know, whatever you need. 125,648 got it right. 11,101 eliminated on nest egg. Humble brag, here we go. I don't have a nest egg, but I do have enough money saved up for buying lunch tomorrow. Woo, maybe I'll indulge in this deli classic made up of a protein, and then more protein, some basic toppings. Ooh, I love it on wheat toast. And sometimes, it's so tall, you really have to break it down just to bite into it. Deli classic. 
Maybe a little mustard on there. I'm talking about a turkey club. You know when turkey clubs come like triple decker? 77,962 got it right. 47,736. Did you just get schooled on turkey club? You got schooled out of the puzzle. Look at that bus go. It dropped off all of your turkey clubs for lunch and then it took you out of the game. <laughs> but we gotta move on. Um, calling all dog lovers, this should be a simple one for you. Sometimes people go beyond a pure breed and prefer this designer dog breed. It's been around for a while, so it's kind of its own breed now. But this dog is hyper hypoallergenic, which I need. And I have to tell you, it's actually a combination of two breeds with a really cute name. That's kind of what all designer dogs are. Combination. And the answer is a schnoodle. You know he brought a schnoodle for you. Oh, look at that face. It's a cross between a schnauzer and a poodle. So it's a schnoodle. You get it. You love it. What a name. 16,346 got it right. Oh, it looks like 63,774. You got schooled on schnood. You schnoodled out of the game. <laughs> no puppies tonight. March Madness is coming up, so if you're planning to go to a game, maybe you'll get lucky and encounter this arena crowd pleaser. Ooh, this happens in a lot of sporting events. It's so fun to watch, but it's more fun if you're the one involved. What is this arena crowd pleaser? You got this. And maybe you got this once. The answer is t-shirt cannon. Here you go. Oh, who got it? <laughs> that was my fake cannon. It was just my hand, but same idea. 17,248. You're getting a t-shirt tonight. 3,544. Unfortunately, aren't. Just be careful. It doesn't whack you in the head, you know? When that t-shirt cannon comes out. Oh, I wish I had one of those right now, because if I had a real t-shirt cannon, I'd be using it right now to give you all presents, because you just made it halfway through the game, baby. You're so close to that Saturday night stardom. But first, one question. What's happening tonight? Mm -hmm, tonight. Every time this happens, I'm late to something. It's true. But what's nice about it, the nice part, you get more done in a day when this occurs. So current, it's happening tonight. And the answer is spring forward. Yeah, we're springing forward. Set your clocks back because we have daylight savings. At, it happens overnight tonight. 8,736 got it right. 8,842 8, eliminated on spring forward. We're not falling back. We're springing forward. We got more sunlight. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Hey, word nerds, let's go out to dinner, okay? It's Saturday night and I'm feeling like something healthy. Check it out. What's this sushi option? Hmm, there's so much to choose from. This one is pretty popular. Okay, it's not too exotic. So if you're not a sushi lover lover like me, you may surprise yourself and really enjoy it. Sushi option. And the answer is yellowfin tuna. Mmm, we're getting some yellowfin tuna rolls. 7,467 got it right. 2,422 eliminated on yellowfin tuna. That's okay. I like salmon too. So do you, obviously. Sometimes if you eat really good sushi, oh, it's more of an experience than another dinner. It feels so good to win big. I talk about this a lot on this show. Because it's a big part of playing the game. Win big. I'm crossing my fingers because is tonight your night? Could it be? And the answer is hit the jackpot. Who's hitting the jackpot tonight? I'll tell you, 7,292, you are on your way. 620, it's not gonna be tonight. 
but that's okay. We've got jackpots every night on HQ Words. I want to take it back a minute, okay? To bell bottoms, go-go boots, and lava lamps, oh my. Aside from those, I want to know what was big in the 60s? This was representative of a culture in the 60s. Whether you were into it or not, oh, it sure is so fun to groove to when you feel it in the atmosphere. Big in the 60s. I'm not talking about hairspray, that's for Monday night. The answer is psychedelic rock. Here you go, here's some psychedelic rock. Rock out right now. Oh, we're rocking out. Psychedelic rock. Very big in the 60s. How many people are still rocking out right now? 4,829. You are rocking it to the end. 2,574. We say goodbye on psychedelic rock. That's all right. Maybe like classic rock. You just rocked out all nine puzzles and it looks like you have arrived at Nirvana, AKA the final puzzle. Okay, we've only got one more to go. We started tonight's game with over 140,000 players and here we are in the most intense moment of the night. Get your popcorn ready cause your final hint is movie quote. I love this. This is from a famous movie that came out in the early 90s. Very memorable quote. And I'll tell you, this movie stars a few good actors. And the answer is, here, we're gonna show you the answer. You can't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth. That was Jack Nicholson in A Few Good Men. You can't handle the truth, but you can handle HQ Words tonight because we've got 5,133 winners. You're taking home that jackpot, baby. Congratulations. Woo! I'm psyched. Let's see who are the top, the fastest tonight. We've got going home with $100, Walter Humet. You just won 100 bucks. In second place for $75, Q Hazel, you won 75. And in third place, Landau, 1120. You're going home with 50 bucks on a Saturday night. How sweet is that? That's amazing. That is the game for tonight. Congrats to all of the other winners and a few new players who stopped by the party tonight. I wish we could have a sleepover, but I've got this nest egg and I think I wanna go out for some yellowfin tuna or maybe even buy a puppy schnoodle world is my oyster. I'm joking. No nest egg here, but maybe I'll gamble and hit the jackpot like some of you did. I'm Anna Roisman. You can follow me here all over social media. Let's be friends. Tell me your favorite musicals. I want to know. I will see you back here tomorrow night for a super-sized game of HQ Words. Did you hear me? Super Sunday. We're doing 15 puzzles tomorrow night. So that means more time for us to hang out together. Go have a wild Saturday night and I will see you tomorrow. I love you, my wordsmiths. Goodbye.